Good morning. Come on, let's go into a deeper level, a deeper dimension in God. He's here, people of God. He's here. Come on, let's pull on him a little more. Oh, shit. I don't know about you, but I don't want to let the fire die down on my. Oh, shit. The fire fall down. The fire simmer down. The fire dim down. I don't want it to. Oh, shit. The Bible says, stir up the gift. Let's stir up the gift. Hey, shit. That lies within us. Come on. Let's pull on them this morning. Hey, shit. That lies within us. Let's lay down everything that's weighing us down this morning. Let's put it at his feet. Lord, Father, forgive us for everything we've done that has not been pleasing to you, O oh God. Creating us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within us so that you can have your way like never before. In this service, oh God, is be free to do as you please, oh God. Allow your worshiping angels to be here in the place. Allow your Shekinah glory, your Kabbalah glory to be so heavy and so weighty in this place that people are healed, delivered, they're set free. We even having not to touch them with our hands, oh God, but that your very presence will be here in the place, oh God. Let your train fill the temple, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever your people are asking for, oh God, we know that even before they leave, you have already given them the solution, oh God. We thank you right now for being Abba Father. We thank you for being God Almighty. We thank you for being Jehovah Jireh. We thank you for being Jehovah Nisi. We thank you for being a deliverer and our redeemer. We thank you for being our friend and our father. We thank you for being our secret place and our safe place, oh God. Dwell with us today. Inhabit the praises of your people, oh God. Sit and dwell right where we are on today, oh God. We present ourselves to you like only we can, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, humbly bowing before you, oh God. Humbly enter into your secret place, oh God. At your throne, oh God. At your feet, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Wreck this service, oh God. Wreck this place, Father. Wreck this hotel, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Let the people in the rooms, in the parking lot, in the lobby feel you, oh God. And ask what is going on in that place. And let me go see, oh God. Your people are in need of you, oh God. Show them your strong, mighty hand, oh God, in this place. Show them there's no other way but you, God. There's no other way but you, God. You are the true. Oh, the true one living God. Oh, yeah. We have our being in you. We move and we breathe. We have shit shata. We can't do nothing without you, oh God. We can't do nothing without you. We can't breathe. We can't move. We can't live. We can't think. We can't comprehend. We can't understand. We have no wisdom and no way without you, oh God. Release upon us, oh God, your spirit even the more, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, give us understanding. Give us wisdom. Give us knowledge. Give us revelation of who you are. Revelation of your word. Revelation of the times that are going on now, God. Give us your solutions in the earth, oh God. Allow us to be Joseph's in our shata in this season, oh God. Preparing the way for you, oh God, but giving us solutions and answers for the earth, oh God. Let them know they can't do nothing without you. There's no crystal, there's no sage, there's no new age, there's no Confucius, there's no Buddha, there's nothing in that would allow them to get into heaven. But by God, but by you, Jesus, but by you, oh God. Turn our minds Turn our hearts and our minds back to you, God. Turn our ways back to you, God. Turn our thoughts back to you, God. In the mighty name 
name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of perversion. We come against the kingdom of darkness. We are putting you on notice that you already have your demise. You will not rule and reign in this area. You will not rule and reign in our lives. Hey, I don't shut up. We are sold out completely for God. And if you want to play with somebody, go find somebody else to play with. We are children of the most high God. And the army of God is rising up in this season. We are not punk and we were not yet in a shutdown. We are not timid and we are not scared. We will stand flat footed and firm, confessing the words of the Lord and saying who our Father is, who the kingdom of God is. And everybody is that will not line up with us. They are against us. The Bible says, Who is for me and who is against me? But we are raising our hands in. Lord, we are the remnant that will say, We are for you, O God. And we will stand flat footed in this earth and proclaim your gospel and speak your gospel and spare not and cry loud your gospel in the mighty name of Jesus, O God. All idolatry, all a sheriff holes, all things that we have exalted above God, be condemned now in the name of Jesus. Come down in the mighty name of Jesus. Fall down in the name of Jesus. We are putting you on notice publicly for everything that come against the name of God, that come against the kingdom of God being built. You will be in shambles. You will be in ruin. But there is hope even for you that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ has came and died and that he has resurrected, you also can be saved. We welcome you into the kingdom of God. Oh God, we'll weigh everything that doesn't give you glory. We'll weigh We'll lay everything down that doesn't give you honor. We'll lay everything down that doesn't give you praise. We'll go back and we'll understand what your standards are. We'll be like the Bereans and research the scriptures just to see what's going forth is the truth. We'll be students of the word. We'll be doers of the word. We'll be hearers of the word. We'll be disciples of the word. We'll be prophets of the word. We'll be apostles of the word. We'll be evangelists of the word. We'll be pastors of the word. Give us a hunger like never before, oh God. Give us a hunger like never before, oh God. Because your word have declared those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled, oh God. We're ready to be filled even the more. We're ready to be filled even the more. We're ready to be filled even the more, oh God. Fill us, fill us, fill us, fill us, fill us, fill us, oh God. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your blood. Fill us with your might. Fill us with your grace. Fill us with your mercy. Show us favor like never before. Show us our assignments. Show us our destiny. Show us our purpose, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let us walk it out, oh God. Lead and guide us like never before. Lead and guide us like never before into all truth, all righteousness, all holiness, oh God. In the name of Jesus. this morning say we yield to you Lord we give it all to you Jesus we yield to you Lord we give it all over to you God we yield to you Lord we want you to have your way in our life we yield to you Lord we surrender God we yield to you Lord with uplifted hands and uplifted hearts 
want you to be encouraged this morning. You know, as the intercessors were praying and uh, prophetess was praying, the Holy Spirit said something to me. The Lord said that um, there's a remnant. There's a remnant that just wants to seek the face of God. There's a remnant that just wants Him. There's a remnant that just wants to be in his presence there's a remnant that just wants to do his will in the earth there's a remnant that just wants to be around him and be surrounded by his glory because nothing changes by this glory nothing changes until we're in his glory and so many times i think that we come to church and we focus on you know the the things that are not going on the things that are not happening but the Lord is saying today, be encouraged because it's the remnant that he will use in the last days. It's the remnant of people. Come on, I'm talking about when the Bible says that in the last days there will be a great falling away. We are to not be ashamed. We are to not be bothered. We are to not be frustrated. We are to not even be sad because like prophet said, we will stand flat footed against the enemy. That's why he's that's why he has torn the church apart the way he has because it's in the last day that revival will come on the earth and so many souls will be saved so many souls will be delivered so many souls will be set free so many souls will give their life over to him so we declare heaven come down yes jesus we want your will we want your will we want your will we want your will we want with the Lord today. Come on, how's that? Come on, worship him in your own way right here. Nothing else matters, Lord, yes, Jesus. We want to see your will done in the earth. Yes, we do, Lord. But we want to have clean hands and a pure heart, yeah. We want to do it with all of our might, God, all of our strength, Jesus. That's why he said, lift up your head so you can the king of glory yeah he can come in yes jesus is so the king of glory come on so he can come in yes jesus is so the king of glory he can come in he can do what he wants is so the king of glory the king of glory yes jesus yes oh God. correct you he can come in he can come in he can come in that means he can come into your life and save you he can come in he can come in he can come in that means he can come into my life and deliver me he can come in he can come in yes he can come in and if i want to say yes he can say no he can come in he can come in yes that means he whatever you want him to do he can come in Saying that He has your hand 
and that he's escorting you into the holies of holies. Let him have levels that we were they were afforded in the Bible when certain keys were hit now we don't idolize that but I want you when I was standing there the Lord said I'm escorting them into the holies of holies because of that particular chord so I want you to get out of your mind I want you to get out of your circumstances I want you to get out of your situation I want you to understand the magnitude of what's going on if he's escorting us into the holies of holies, it's such a sacred place. It's such a pure place, Sharon. It's such a holy place. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to miss it. He reveals things there. He cleans us up there. He gives us instructions there. So if we're going to have that moment, I don't want you to miss it. I want us to have... Let your Savior know that you that you're okay with Him taking you there today. Let Him know. I give you permission to escort me there because He's a gentleman. He's not gonna drag you there. He's not gonna force you there. Oh shit, Oh God, we're willing to go. We're willing to go, Father.
out we got to say it loud when the spirit breaks out we got to say it loud when the spirit breaks out we got to say it loud when the spirit breaks out we got to say it loud when the spirit breaks out we got to say it loud 
When the spirit breaks out, we gotta say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we gotta say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we gotta say it loud. Your holy, your holy, holy, your holy Lord. Your holy, your holy, holy, your holy Lord. Holy, your holy, holy, your holy Lord. Your 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 holy, your holy, holy, your holy Lord. And every breath declares you holy. 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 You're holy, you're holy, holy, you're holy, Lord. 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 what you can do. We lift up our voices, lift up our hands too. Cause nothing is better than all you can do. We lift up our voices, lift up our hands too. Cause nothing is better than what you can do. You gave us your grace, your mercy, and love. Cause nothing is better than what's above. You gave us your grace, your mercy, and love. And nothing is better than what's above. You gave us your grace and mercy and love And nothing is better than what's above This is where we shout You're holy, you're holy, holy, you're holy, Lord This is what we're going to be doing For eternity Saying how holy our God is He's holy, he's holy, holy, you're holy, God You're holy, you're holy, holy, you're holy, God You're holy, you're holy, holy, you're holy, God you're holy, you're holy, holy, you're holy God. 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 And every breath declares you holy. Every breath declares you holy. Every breath declares you holy. You're holy, you're holy, holy, you're holy God. And every breath declares you holy. And every breath declares you holy. Every breath declares you holy. Every breath. Every breath declares God holy. This is what we're going to be doing. Why not start today? I don't want to wait till I get to heaven and declare how holy God is. God, you've done too much in my life. You show me how holy you can be. You show me how graceful you can be. You show me how merciful you can be. You show me how loving you can be. I dare not rob you of calling you holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's holy. He's, holy. He's set apart. There is nobody like him. There is nobody beside him. There is no name that can match up to the name of God. He is the only true and living God. It's not a deep thing to think about how holy God is. And I think sometimes we think it has to be a deep thing. But God reveals himself to us to let us know just how set apart he is. He's not like you and I. We can't put God in the same category as us. God stands alone. He is the creator of heaven and earth and all that dwells in it. He gave you life. He gave you breath. He stands alone. I'm going to lift up our offering. But 
I need you to do me a favor. Before we lift up our offering, we're going to say this one more time just so you got it. When the spirit breaks out, we got to say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we got to say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we got to say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we got to, you got to lose yourself. When the spirit breaks out, we got to say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we got to say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we got to say it loud. When the spirit breaks out, we got to say it loud. You're holy, you're holy, holy, you're holy God. 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 You're holy, you're holy, you're holy. Now right there, give your God some praise. I dare you to erupt in this place. A thunderous sound. God know just how holy he is. God, we thank you. We love you. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're worthy of all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. Hallelujah, Jesus. Listen, if you need an envelope, just raise your hand. Someone to get one to you. Part of the act of that declaration is loosening yourself from everything that hinders or distracts you from embracing the holiness of God. You literally have to say, God, lose me in your presence because I don't want anything getting in the way of you revealing just how holy you are. Someone would get one to you if you raise your hand. If you want to give on your phone, there are different ways you can give. We are one church with two locations, as you can see on our beautiful backdrop here. I want you to be, come on, I want you guys to clap it up. You guys did this. You guys did this. We got a Charlotte location. We do have a location in Tampa as well. And if you go to www.contagious.church, you can give that way. Just find a Charlotte location, hit the give button. You can also download our app in your app store. Contagious Church app. Please, I encourage you to download it, not just to give, but just to take advantage of all the resources and tools that are on that application. And if you find a shot of location on that app, hit the give button. It's as simple as that. It takes you to another screen and you fill that out. It's very simple. You can also text to give. The millennials, they like to text to give now. Just open up your message box, put give CLT to number 813-308-0638. That is give CLT to 813-308. 0638 for those of you who are online we will have that up there for you as well you can also give on our cash app money sign contagious CLT money sign contagious CLT we thank you guys for your commitment and for standing alongside this ministry and believing God for all that he has for contagious church Charlotte I want to let you know and I don't just say this every Sunday but I want you to believe that your gifts, your seeds, help this ministry to do what God has intended for this ministry to do. We can't do without you. So be encouraged in knowing that whatever you sow, this is good ground. And whatever sown in good ground shall produce a great harvest. www.contagious.church. Find a Charlotte location, hit the give button. You can also find a Tampa location, hit the give button if you want to. Uh, you can go to our app, download our app in your app store find a shot location hit the give button you can also text to give give CLT in the message box to 813-308-0638 <clears throat> last but not least you can give on our cash app money sign contagious CLT money sign contagious CLT and I see some new faces in the building too we want to say thank you for you could have been anywhere else but you decided to come and worship here at contagious church Charlotte and listen, this is the place where the love, the faith, and the worship of God is and will forever be 
contagious. So we thank you for joining us this morning. We believe the first time you come, you're a guest. The second time, we claim you as family. So don't look at us strange if you ain't bringing nothing to the barbecue. Amen. No, but we thank you. We, it's, a, it's truly a pleasure to see you guys and see all your wonderful faces. You all look so beautiful today. So God is up to something amazing. I don't want to belabor this. I want to get into the word and what God has to release. So without further ado, let us go ahead. If you can, just fill out one of those, um, those cards so that we can connect with you. Just put it back in the offering bucket. Reach out just to get to know who you are, see what God is doing in your life. Share a little bit about Contagious Church and, and what we're doing and what God has us planned for us. So we love to connect. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, most gracious God, we thank you, God, just for another time to come together, God, as your people, your body of believers, God, for we thank you that you have given us another Lord's Day, God, this Sunday, a day that you have made, and Lord, we will rejoice and be glad in it, Father. So we pray even now, God, in this area, God, as we seek to worship you with everything that we do and everything that we have, we pray, God, that it will be honorable and pleasing in your sight, God, every seed and every gift that was sown on to day, Father God, we believe that it will produce a great harvest, God, not just on the behalf of your kingdom, God, but even individually, God. I pray even now that you would begin to stretch people's trust and faith in you, Father God, and just remind them of how faithful and, uh, that you can be in their lives, Father God. We pray for divine favor. We pray for an abundance, Father God, of, of wealth, God. We even pray for divine blessings, God, to hit households, God, in the name of Jesus, God. This shall be a body of believers that shall shall never lack, that shall never beg, that shall never want, God. But we believe that every need that we have, it will be met, Father God, just because of who you are. So I pray that you would increase, Father God, the influence and increase the reach, Father God, of every seed that was sown on today. Open up doors that no man can open. Open up opportunities, Father God, that no man can create, God, that we may take your gospel, Father God, from this nation to other nations, Father. We just thank you for the work that you have pre destined for us to do God and Lord we will trust you and we will believe you God we even thank you that this is a ministry Father God that won't lack God but Lord we will have every resource Father God everything that is needed to do ministry effectively we believe that we will have it Father so I pray that you will continue to encourage your people to stand alongside this ministry God and believe you for what you have in store for Contagious Church Charlotte now God I pray that if we prepare ourselves God for this word that is going to be released least God I pray that every heart and mind is ready to receive what thus saith the Lord God I pray that you would stir up every gift on the inside of Apostle Reggie God let him speak with boldness let him speak with confidence God let him profess and proclaim the truth about you, Father. I pray even now that you would prepare the hearts, God. Ready our minds, God. Let the word penetrate, Father God, and pierce. But let it show up and heal in the name of Jesus, God. We just thank you for what is going to take place in this room from this moment forward, God. And we will forever give your name the praise, the honor, the glory that it deserves. It is in Jesus' name that we all pray. Everybody said amen. We all said amen. We all said amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God for every day that he allows me to come and grace this pulpit. There is strength in my body. There are bright and beautiful faces out in this audience. And I thank God for each and every one of you. And I want to tell you and I want to let you know that God has something great for you. That God has something in store for you big. Hallelujah. And you got to know that when God, my God, whatever he says concerning you, it must, it shall, and it will come to pass. Hallelujah. I was glad when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, as they were singing the song this morning, I could literally see God's people being escorted to the place of honor. 
literally it is God is the word that declares come on uh, don't put yourself in the seat of honor but allow God to escort you and many of you've been my God comfortable being in the back you've been comfortable not being seen you've been comfortable serving and I'm here to tell somebody hallelujah I want to prophesy over you the word of the Lord concerning you I want to tell you listen you've been in the back for long enough you've been behind the scenes for long enough and God is saying it's time son it's time daughter for you to be escorted into the place of glory. You don't have to brown your, hallelujah, you don't have to brown nose your way. You don't have to, my God, hallelujah, use all kind of detestable practices. But God himself has seen your faithfulness. And God himself has seen, my God, how you've served him in secret. Now I declare upon you this day that he's getting ready to reward you openly. You have served him with tenacity. You've served him with faithfulness. You've served him with all that you have. And now is the time, saith God. got to know that when God speaks there is nothing hallelujah yes he is worthy he is high and he is lifted up Lord even work even hallelujah Lord begin a great work amongst your people God do a great work even in the hearts of your people Lord let them be reminded you've not forgotten about them God let them know that you will never leave them nor forsake them let them know God that you are still the same God yesterday that you are still the same God today and forevermore oh he is worthy Let every promise, let every blessing, let every manifestation of what God had said concerning you be a testament of how big that God is. And somebody needs to know that God is bigger than your current situation that God is bigger than your lack that God is bigger hallelujah than even your ability to stress and to worry about certain situations. The word declares hallelujah consider the lilies of the valleys consider the fowl of the air they neither spin nor toil yet your holy hallelujah yet your father provides for them how much more hallelujah would God provide for those are that, that are of him and that are his own you don't have to worry come on hallelujah be not anxious for anything Cons ah, uh, glory to God be not anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and by supplication let the prayers of God and let the promise of God keep you in perfect peace hallelujah father God we declare and we decree that your word is true we thank you and hallelujah. We thank you that it is so and it shall not be otherwise in Jesus' name. Oh, come on, clap your hands and give your God a praise. Hallelujah. Yes, he is the lily of the valley. Come on, he is the bright and the morning star. There is no one that is like him. There is no name higher. There is no other name under heaven. Come on, lift him up. Come on, lift him up. Oh, come on, lift him up. Woo, shut up. Oh, he is worthy. Oh, I feel God doing something in this place. And I declare by faith that whatever it is that you believe in God for, that it's already done. Yes, God, it's already done. Come on, you can go ahead and clap right there because it's already done. You can go ahead and give your God a shout of praise because it's already done. It's done, it's done. It's done, it's done. It's done, it's done. Hallelujah. Oh. Yes, God. It is the highest praise. Hallelujah. Yes, Father. Mm. 
while you're there, I want to challenge each and every one of you to just meditate upon, upon the goodness of God. And even the last things that he's done concerning you. Think back in the last three months. Think back in the last three years. Hallelujah. Listen, if you can't find a reference point to give your God a glory, think back today. Hallelujah. How he spared you from death. That you get one more opportunity to praise him. That you get one more opportunity to give his name glory. That you get another opportunity to lift up the king of kings. To lift up the Lord of lords. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright and the morning star. We say yes to your will. Do whatever it is that you desire to do amongst your people. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want to give honor to whom honor is due, my beautiful wife. Thank God for my wife, for all that she does. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for my help me. May you give her strength. May you give her power. And may you, hallelujah, be glorified through her in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Turn with me to your Bibles. I want to dip down into this word that God put upon my heart. Second Kings chapter number four. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter number four. Very familiar passage of scripture. And we're going to continue to hallelujah minister from this thought of big. And you need to be reminded of how big God is. I'm going to read verses or chapter 4, verse 1 through 7, and it reads. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the son of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto you, uh, unto him, my two sons to be bondmen. And Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in the house? And she said, thine had, handmaid hath nothing, uh, not anything in the house, save a pot of oil. Here's a thought, God will use what you have. Then he said, go borrow the vessels. Uh, go bar uh, then he said, go borrow the vessels abroad of all the neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons and shall pour out into all those vessels. Somebody shall pour. And thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto her son, bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, there is not a vessel more and the oil stayed. Then she came and told the man of God and he said, go sell the oil and pay the debt and live thou and thy children of the rest. I would like to use for a thought this morning. The oil is big enough. 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 Your oil is big enough. Hallelujah. Listen, when you feel like you don't have anything to give, God will oftentimes remind you that you have the oil. Is there anything in your house that God can use? Uh, is there anything, my God, in your mind that God can use? Is there anything that you possess uh, uh, that you have a grace to walk in that God can use? God is saying to his people this morning that the, the oil is big enough. Here we have a woman. Uh, hallelujah. This woman has lost her husband and she's in a state of panic. Uh, the Bible says that now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the son of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, 
is dead. Um, she was coming uh, on behalf of her dead husband. She was pleading her case on behalf of her dead husband and saying, listen, hallelujah, these debtors, they're coming after me. Come on. Uh, have you ever been in a situation where that was a 911 and you needed God to move and uh, people begin to beat down the door? And let me tell you something. Here is a revelation. This woman was desperate. She had lost her husband and the debt collectors were still after her. Hmm. Uh, that means that uh, by virtue of death, uh, debt is not automatically wiped away. Uh, it's ignorant to believe that uh, because you die, uh, that you all of a sudden, everything that you owe these uh, folks, what I call Mr. Bill, uh, uh, Mr. Bill says, run me my money. Uh, Mr. Light Bill uh, does not excuse you when you die. Uh, uh, Mr. Gas Bill uh, said, run me my money, my coins. And, and, and listen, it's ignorant to, for us to believe that death automatically cancels out uh, our debts. And here the woman came to a source. Uh, hallelujah, that had a track record with God. Come on, hallelujah. Listen, stop my God consulting people in your 911 emergencies and go to the people who have track records and history with God. Hallelujah, that have pedigree with God. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is amazing how folk will talk about you and then the next minute, one minute and then the next minute they'll come to you for prayer hey, 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 hey sis, uh, sus uh, no, 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 they're gonna, they gonna, they gonna put some extra on it hey, sus, can you pray for me? Uh, yeah, 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 bruh, bruh uh, can you pray for me? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah you was talking about me like a dog two minutes ago uh, but listen, God will have it that you come back to the source uh, listen, I'm not saying it arrogantly I'm not saying it pridefully but I'm telling you listen hallelujah you gotta go to people who have track records and pedigree with God the woman of God didn't just go to anybody uh, hallelujah listen you better go read about Elisha how this brother performed miracles signs and wonders come on hallelujah you gotta know that you are a miracle listen the devil has been after you for many years in fact he tried to kill you in vitro high glory to God you gotta know how to in utero you gotta know that God is saying unto you you cannot die before your purpose I purpose you I plot my God of Zion I've called you even before you departed your mother's womb. I've called you to be a prophet unto the nations. The devil can, my God, he can threaten you. He can say all kind of manner of evil against you. But your purpose, my God, hallelujah, you will fulfill your purpose in the earth. And the devil can't do anything about it. She went to the man of God that had a track record of breakthrough that had history with God. Uh, listen, you, you, you come on. I'm, I want to encourage you to read about the prophet, the Elisha prophet, uh, the prophet, the man of God. He, 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 he did all kinds of things. So she went to the source. Hey, look here, uh, man of God. Listen, my husband is dead and uh, these bill collectors are after me. Hallelujah. And, and there you are. The Bible says, thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou will knowest that thy servant fear the Lord. Come on, let me throw that in there. My husband was a God-fearing man. Uh, my friend, he was a God-fearing man. Hallelujah. Listen, he wasn't just a uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, he wasn't just anybody. He, he was someone who knew how to serve God, and he served him faithfully. Let me present the information to you. When you connect with people, when you, hallelujah, my God, when you plead your case to people who have pride, my God, have a connection with God and have history with God, hallelujah, make sure you mention that, hallelujah, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a man of God. I'm a woman of God. Let's go ahead and slide that on in there. Because, listen, then you can come into agreement. Because, my God, the Bible declares, for where two or three are gathered together in my name. Ha hallelujah. Listen, my, her my husband, he was a man of God. And, listen, my house, my God, we serve God. We fear God. As for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. He was a man of God. And he... Matter of fact, he was in your company. He was, uh, y'all ran together. Uh, hallelujah, glory to God. And then these creditors has come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. What is, listen, back at that time, during that time, if uh, you had a debt, uh, according to the Mosaic law, uh, they can come after your family members. They can come after uh, not only the, person, the person's wife, but the kids as well. 
Uh, this proves that, that, that being in slavery and bondage is not God's best for you. Hallelujah. Listen, and, that, and, and, and check this out. The law said that they had to be there. They had to serve the debt and pay off the debt uh, until the year of Jubilee. At the appointed time, the year of Jubilee, then the people would be, uh, hallelujah, they were free. Uh, their, their bonds, well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully, by the time you got that, that, that labor from me, listen, whether it's done or not, or if you feel like I worked hard enough or was I slothful or not, but at the time at the, of year of Jubilee, my, my debt was forgiven. And I'm telling somebody that needs to hear that, hallelujah, that, that, that God is saying unto you, come on, hallelujah, listen, it is not my best for you to serve another. In fact, God says that I will cause you to be the lender and not the borrower. But check this out. Here's another part of this whole process. That law also stated that, hallelujah, listen, that I could get your family in. Y'all going to give me my labor and you're going to pay the debt that someone else created. My God, you're going to pay the price for a debt that your husband had. You're going to pay the, listen, glory to God, hallelujah. Listen, I love my wife, and uh, she got all kind of skills and skill sets and knowledge. If God decided to take me tomorrow, I know she'll be all right, uh, but that, that's not good enough. Come on, I'm also responsible enough, hallelujah. Listen, I'm worth a whole lot of money. Oh. Uh, if y'all find me on the side of the road. Uh, listen, y'all look, the first suspect is usually the wife. Glory be unto God. But what am I saying to God's people this morning? You got to understand that death does not excuse your debt. Death does not excuse your debt. She was in a 911 emergency situation and she had to go to someone who could get a prayer through. Come on. When you're in a hallelujah, have you ever been in a situation and my God and I sense in this room that somebody need God to move like yesterday and somebody, come on, has been petitioning God because listen, you're in a 911. Brother, can you touch and agree with me? Sister, can you pray with me? Come on. Stop playing around with God. Stop my God wasting your oil and your time on phone. Who that listen, the prayer won't go from here to that ceiling. You better connect with folks, my God, that can touch heaven. You better connect with somebody. Come on, hallelujah. Listen, but this woman, this woman was in desperate need of some help. Hallelujah. And if she didn't listen, uh, when the when the when they came after to collect the debt, either you had one or two options. You had to immediately pay the debt. Come on, but she was widowed, so she didn't have the resources to pay the debt. Hallelujah. She didn't have my God the wherewithal to pay the debt, but she connected with a prophet. She connected with a voice that would my God release my God a solution to the situation. Come on, many of you carry mantles. Uh, listen, you are salute. Hi, glory to God. You are solutionists in the earth. You carry the oil, my God, to my God to fix a complex problem. May the things that are difficult for others be simple to you. <laughs> glory to God. She connected with Elisha. And the, the man of God said, chapter, verse number two says that. And Elisha said unto her, what shall I do for thee? Tell me. Come on. Sometimes when you're in the midst of people who have hallelujah, ha ha have, a, have a heavy anointing, uh, you got to ask the right questions. Come on, he already knew the solution before he asked the question. But oftentimes, Jesus would ask questions. Oftentimes, Jesus, come on, to, uh, to allow you to, my God, think. Come on, listen, not an open-ended, not a closed-ended question that required a yes or no, but he would oftentimes challenge people. He would, uh, who do men say that I am? Come on. And God already knew Jesus in his infinite wisdom. He already knew by provoking thought. Come on. Glory to God. Uh, hey, the thing. Huh, listen, the thing that you thought was right. God will tell you real quick. Hold on. That brother got a point. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Uh, Jesus had them had them brothers scratching their head, walking away like hashtag no cap. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What he's speaking is truth. Yeah, what he's talking about, I can relate to. And I listen. And sometimes when, uh, when, when Jesus, he would check them. He would, they would just leave one by one. Uh, hallelujah. He that is without sin, go ahead and cast the first stone. Uh, hallelujah. Because they would always try to ensnare him and trap him. But he was well versed with the law. He was very, very, very well versed with how what they were doing and the intentions of the heart. When your heart's intents and motives are off, everything that comes out of your mouth is off. Somebody shall prove it, preacher. The word declares that out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth will speak. Come on. Hallelujah. What you going through, come on, will come out of your mouth. Uh, listen, you may not like me, but if I hit the right button, if I poke the bear long enough, you're going to tell me how you really feel. Hallelujah. Listen, that's why all of these billionaires and all of these folk with all this money, my God, uses racial slurs, and uh, they felt that way the whole time. They just were able to suppress it. But may the truth, hallelujah, come out and set them free. This woman was in jeopardy of losing her entire family. Uh, hallelujah. Listen, two sons that could offer her to go pick up some, uh, some, some, some grocery over at the local, local market. Uh, they was like, listen, run me my money, woman. Uh, I'm going, my God, I'm going to put you in slavery. You're going to pay back this debt that your husband owes. Uh, run me my money. Hallelujah. Not only am I going to put you to work, I'm going to put your two sons to work. But my word, by my hallelujah, my word clearly tells me that, listen, it, it, in order to really walk into the fullness of what God has promise you you cannot be enslaved debt translates into slavery my bible tells me that we are to owe no man hallelujah uh, oh no man come on hallelujah people who have a t uh, insurmountable amounts of debt they are bound in their minds because they're constantly thinking how they're going to hallelujah pay their bills and uh, what they're going to eat come on uh, what they're going to my god hallelujah what they're going to put on their back are you not more precious than my god the birds are you not more precious than the flowers come on god already knows what you are in need of even before you ask of it so when are you going to get to the point to say come on hallelujah Hallelujah. My oil is big enough. High glory be unto God. The oil is big enough. The oil is big enough. Uh, the oil is big enough. He asked the right questions. What do you have in your house? Come on. God will oftentimes ask you. Isha, uh, what is it that you have that I can use? Uh, Jen, God will oftentimes say to you, what is it that is in your house? What is in you that I can use, that I can put my hands upon, that I can increase, that I can blow upon, that I can, hallelujah, give my name and bring my own name glory? Hallelujah. If you would just take the approach. Uh, People who have stature and pedigree with God knows how to ask those thought-provoking questions. What do you have in your house? My God, oftentimes God will use me many. Let me give God glory. He will use me, God, hallelujah, to say to people, have you considered this man of God? Have you considered that woman of God? How, have you tried this and have you tried that? Uh, listen, I'm telling you, come on, when you're in the right company, they will challenge you and thought-provoke, my God, and cause you to ask the right questions and respond in the right way. What is it that you have that God can use? Hallelujah. Pastor Jermaine, can you come up here for me? What is it that you have uh, in your house that God can use? She says, uh, come on now. Now let me put it in context. Don't call me a false, uh, false preacher. Let me put it in context. Uh, this was, bring the table up. Uh, this was a natural process. He had the solution. Glory to God. Come on, use the muscles, man of God. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What is it that you have in your house? And she said, thine handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil before he really gave her the solution to what she was going through she started minimizing what she had hmm. let me say that again before he could ask the question fully the woman of God 
started minimizing the little that she had. How many know that God can use your little? Y'all don't hear me t- this morning. How many know that God can use the little bit that you have? Stop minimizing what you have. Hallelujah. Stop downplaying what you have. Come on, the oil, the little oil that you carry, it is enough. Come on, it's big enough. And God is saying unto you, when you begin to, my God, respect the oil, when you begin to reverence the oil, when you begin to have the right perspective of the oil, you will never say that what I have is not enough. It's the devil's, hallelujah, it's the enemy's job to convince you that what you have isn't good enough, that you're not sufficient. Come on, hallelujah, that you'll never know, you're never going to amount to nothing. Sound familiar? The devil is a liar. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are the works of the Lord. My God tells me I'm the lender and not the borrower. Listen, you got to know that the oil that you carry, it's big enough. Hallelujah, you got to know it. Hallelujah. I don't have anything but a little bit of oil. Lord, I don't have anything but a little bit of faith. Oh, oh ye of little faith. Come on, if you had the faith the size of a grain, the size of a mustard seed. Hallelujah. That, my God, what is God really saying to his people? That little bit of faith, come on, uh, that you have has the potential to grow and to reproduce into a tree. Come on, faith must mature. Faith must grow up. Come on, hallelujah. You cannot stay small. You serve a big God. You serve a God that is, hallelujah, that can do anything but fail. And why, hallelujah, it is the enemy's job that he's been beating down the people of God and the men and women of God and the kingdom of God and having them to believe that what they carry is not enough but quite on the contrary hallelujah uh, what you have is enough the Bible says that she said I don't have anything except a pot of oil hmm. then he said go borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. Let me talk to you a minute about vessels. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me talk a minute about vessels. Let me give you my visual aid. Let me talk to you a minute about vessels. All vessels don't look the same. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All vessels don't look the same. All vessels don't have the same capacity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, But God will use a little bit that you have. Each one of these vessels represents the kingdom of God. And you say, Lord, hallelujah, I can only carry this much oil. God already knew what my God, before he formed you, before you were born, he knew the amount of oil that it was that was needed in order for you to operate in his kingdom. Come on. Hallelujah. All it takes is a little bit of faith and God. Hallelujah. And God is saying unto you, come on, uh, your vessel may not look like his vessel and your vessel may not look like her vessel but listen if you would I would challenge you to fill the vessel up come on will you be a willing vessel come on each notice that each one of these vessels are empty each vessel is empty now let me give y'all a little bit of history about uh, these Rachel Ray vessels glory to God hallelujah Rachel Ray contagious orange y'all Amen. Uh, Rachel Ray, nonstick surface. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel Ray, listen. Uh, gl- glory to God. Don't, don't use my God. Uh, don't, don't, don't use my God. Tin and iron on a nonstick surface. Why? Because it's going to scratch it up. Come on, don't you be up in my pots. My wife will fuss at me. If I'm up in this pot, come on, because I'm going to scratch away the thing that was meant to protect it. Hallelujah. And listen, likewise, each vessels. why is it that you're always compromising, that you're allowing folks to scratch up your vessels, the thing that is sensitive, the thing that is sacred. Hallelujah. Why are you letting them scratch it up? Hallelujah. Why you, my God, why are you allowing people to misuse the oil and the vessels who you are? The oil is big enough. He gave her an instruction to go borrow vessels. 
Each vessel don't look the same. Each vessel, hallelujah, carries a different capacity. But he gave her an instruction. The man of God gave her an instruction to go do something. Listen, when you're desperate and when you trust the God that are in people, you trust them to know to, hallelujah, you trust them enough to obey. Come on, glory be unto God. And it is in your delay, it is in my God, your unwillingness to put this flesh under subjection. What's the worst thing can happen? Her husband is dead. The debt collectors are already after her you might as well my God listen you might as well do what the man of God tell you to do it might be beneficial for you check this out here's a revelation he told her to go collect vessels collect vessels from your neighbor as many as you can find collect vessels as many that you can get your hands on collect vessels but here is the here is the instruction he gave her the vessels had to be empty the vessels had to be empty come on the vessel had to be empty come on hallelujah and there and in the kingdom uh, you represent this vessel and maybe hallelujah maybe there's someone that is feeling empty maybe there is someone that is feeling hopeless and God is saying come on when I give you an instruction follow my instructions I need an empty vessel that I can pour into I need an empty vessel that I can fill I need an empty vessel that I can use go get a vessel as many as you can find. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and thy sons and shall pour into all those vessels. Hallelujah. Come on, when you are empty, God is saying, I'm ready to pour some faith in you, daughter. When you are empty, I'm ready to, my God, to continue to pour into you. Uh, when you are empty of faith, when you are, my God, when you have nothing left, God is saying, I'm ready to pour into your son. I'm ready to pour into you, daughter. Come on, listen, the vessels had to be empty. How can God pour into you Hallelujah! if you're not empty? How can God pour into you if you have no void? How can my God of Zion pour into all those vessels and thou shalt set aside all that is full. Come on, let me, here's a revelation. God has used you to pour into certain people. Hallelujah. And their ability to receive you. And everything that God has that, you, my God of Zion, everything that God has for you to give them in this season of their life. Come on, hallelujah. It's full. Uh, hallelujah. You cannot pour any more in people, my God, that are at max capacity. You will do more harm than good. Come on. You cannot pour into people when God is saying, listen, listen to the instructions. I want you to see this thing. Are you learning? anything I want you to get this thing all in your spirit the man said hallelujah the word says set aside it when it's full come on hallelujah this vessel can't hold as much as this vessel Come on, but set aside it once it's full. Come on, you pouring into them faith. Oh, ye of little faith. Come on, it's going to be all right, son. Oh, oh, ye of little faith. It's going to be all right, daughter. And God is saying, listen, the emptier you are, the more capacity that I can pour into you. And you got to know that, listen, your vessel, God is not going to pour into you in this season longer, more than you can receive. But check this out. I love it. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Verse chapter number, or verse number five. So when, so she went from him, shut the door just as the prophet had instructed her. Shut the door upon her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out. Let me tell you something. There are highly anointed people who have been pouring and pouring and pouring and you yourself, my God, feels like you're empty and you have nothing else to pour. But here is the thing. Glory be unto God. Let me talk to you for a minute. Check this out. Here is the supernatural that happened. Here is the miracle that happened. Here is the sign that happened. Here is the wonder that happened. The Bible says in verse uh, chapter number five, uh, when they begin to close the door upon her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and it came to pass 
that when the well vessels were full, that she said unto her son, bring me yet another vessel. And he said unto her, there is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. Mm. The more she poured and the more vessels that she had, hallelujah, the more potential she had to pour into people. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. And as she, my God, as she, as she got empty herself, my God, hallelujah, God began to continuously pour back into her. Why? For the sole purpose to bring his name glory, to bring his name honor, and to bring his name praise. Uh, listen, here is a revelation. Though she had the oil, the oil was not for her. Come on, hallelujah. It was for other people. And listen, my God, what stops the pouring process? My God, oh, offense. Uh, hallelujah. Listen, you are offended, but you have a word for the person that offended you and you won't release it. You got to, my God, you got to give an answer. You got to give an account. And you got to be, hallelujah, you got to be cognizant of things. My God that prevents you from pouring hallelujah God is saying pour into this uh, this person he didn't ask you whether you liked them or not he said pour into them my God of Zion and many of you have been withholding your compassion and many of you have been withholding my God the goodness of God and the oil of God notice that the word declares hallelujah that the more she poured the more oil that was produced hallelujah listen the oil my God hallelujah although she had a little bit of oil the oil was not for her it was for the empty vessels and I'm telling you that you carry in my God you carry an anointing to pour hallelujah somebody shout pour you carry an anointing to pour into people it is not for you to house it is not for you to store for your own measure it's for the empty vessels why don't we understand my God, hallelujah, that God never had a condition on your ability to pour, nor did God put limitations on your ability to pour. Hallelujah. He said, listen, the oil is for my empty vessels. Jesus told them like this. They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I have not called the righteous, but I've called sinners unto repentance hallelujah you listen my god uh, yeah 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 many of you need to repent because you've been releasing your oil on your own conditions and it has nothing to do with God hallelujah God is saying my God pray over her no no God you don't understand what she did to me uh, no 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 pray over him but God he hurt me deeply uh, no 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 the oil is not for you baby come on hallelujah the, you don't get to call when the oil is poured and when the oil is released and when the oil is held back that is the God of joy my God that is the job of God it is his oil in the first place it is him that my God of Zion shall the thing that was created have the luxury to operate contrary to its intended purpose? Absolutely not. The Bible says every time she instructed her son to go bring her another pot, another empty vessel. God was saying, I want to feel it. I want to feel your void. I want to feel your emptiness. I want to feel everything that you feel like you needed from your father. I want to feel everything that you felt like you didn't get from your mother. Who am I preaching to this morning? How am I, come on, the oil is not for you. My God, the man of God, the prophet gave her a solution to the, pro hallelujah, to the problem. Listen, your oil, hallelujah, though the oil is in your possession, my God, ask God, my God, when to release the oil and when to pour the oil so that as you be fed, hallelujah, there are many times and many of you feel empty and there are many times that you have nothing left but God is saying the more you pour hallelujah into my empty vessels the more I will begin to pour into you the more you begin to pour into my empty vessels the more I will begin to pour into you and I already know your capacity I already know what you can handle I already know notice that the Bible hallelujah the Bible says that when the pots were filled set it off to the side come on that that my God hallelujah what is God saying to you there is a vessel that was once empty but now that the oil is poured into the vessel uh, that vessel now has the 
capacity to self-sustain. And God is saying, no, hallelujah, there are many more empty vessels. There are many more souls that I'm calling unto you. And many of you have the grace to the lost. This is a depiction of, come on, hallelujah, God showed me this thing clear as day. This is a picture of evangelism at its finest. It was, my God, the instructions of the mother to go and go, go, go search after, uh, go to the neighbors and search after and get the empty vessels. The sons were doing evangelistic work. Uh, listen, uh, listen, I want to charge every person that is listening under the sound of my voice to go, hallelujah, go ye therefore and preach the gospel to every creature. My God, these are representation of empty vessels. It is the oil, my God, that will fill the void. It is the oil that will sustain them. It is the oil, my God, that will cause them to walk in victory. The same oil that brought you out will be the same, my God of Zion, will be the same oil that brings them out hallelujah why then in the body that we have the tendency to stop the oil flow when you stop your oil from flowing the people stay bound when you stop your oil from flowing the people stay in bondage when you stop your oil from flowing people don't get healed set free and delivered come on come on hallelujah I declare over you that the very ones my God hallelujah that hurt you Joseph will be the ones my God as God begins to elevate you that as God begins to cause you to be prime minister as God begins to call you to be raised up to second in command the very ones that threw you away to die the very ones that threw you away in the ditch that left your body lifeless that left you at the critical moments of your life and thought that you were going to die. You got to know that every harm, listen, there was some ordained warfare. Uh, my God, everything that Joseph went through, that he had ordained warfare and he prospered everywhere that he went. I'm going to tell you, listen, stop my God. Hallelujah. Stowing pity parties. It's called ordained warfare. Hallelujah, we know the end of that story. After a while, hallelujah, he was elevated. And the ones that threw him away, he had to come see him. My God, they had to come see him. And he had to distribute food to them. Mm. The oil is big enough. The oil that you carry is big enough. It's big enough to fill empty vessels. It's big enough. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. You understand the oil. It came to set the captives free. And the more you begin to pour in the empty vessels, the more God will use you. Give me a heart to be used by you, God. Give me a heart to pour out even more oil. I don't, my God, I'm not no longer going to let offense stop me from letting my oil be released. Mm. The oil. It's big enough. When the man of God initially approached her, she had already discounted herself by minimizing what she had. Man of God, I only have a little bit of oil. But you got to know that the oil is symbolic of the Holy Spirit. You got to know that oil, come on. Uh, that the oil is highly flammable. You got to know that oil, come on, operates at a high temperature. Come on, you got to know, my God, hallelujah, that my Lord, what is God saying to his people today? That as I put you in the fire, come on, you carry the oil of the Holy Spirit. And my God, by fire, it's impossible for fire to consume fire. What is God saying to his people this day? That he will sustain you in the fire. Hallelujah, that he will keep you in the fire. Come on, he will come on, deliver deliver you in the fire he will my God get glory from your life in the fire the oil is big enough in that day come on back in that day they would use oil my God to lamp things hallelujah to light up things because I just told you that oil was highly flammable come on likewise God will use the oil that you carry to light this dead world on fire God will use the oil that you carry hallelujah to light these empty vessels on fire so my God they were once my God empty but listen as you begin to pour the oil as you begin to release the oil my God joy comes forth peace comes forth happy it has come forth and they will see the fruits of the spirit my God of Zion God the oil is big enough hallelujah stand to your feet
I want to end this and I'm going to open up this altar. Come on with some declarations. Hallelujah. And you got to know that God wants to remind you that the oil is big enough. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. High glory be unto God. The oil is big enough. The oil is big enough. As the man of God was giving her instructions, he said, set aside the pots once they were full. And I believe that the reason why the man of God gave that instruction is so that the oil was not wasted. And I want to declare with God's people that he's giving you the grace and he's going to teach you how to pour the oil. That he's going to teach you how to release the oil and fill the oil, come on, to full capacity so that you can move to the next empty vessel. And God is saying unto you, son, and God is saying unto you, daughter, I will give you the grace to pour. I will give you the ability to pour. You will know how to pour. You will know when to pour. You will know when not to pour. And God is saying, listen, my oil, oh, hallelujah, my God, pour upon the empty vessels so that they can be freed. Pour upon the empty vessels so they can be healed. Pour upon the empty vessels so they can be delivered. Repeat these words after me. I'm going to say some declarations and I'm going to open up this altar. My oil is valuable. My oil has the potential to reproduce. My oil has purpose. My oil will fill empty vessels. The more I pour, the more I am filled. Hallelujah. Listen, the more I pour, the more I feel. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. And I want to challenge those who have been offended. I want to challenge those, come on, hallelujah, who felt like they've not been pouring to the capacity that God will require for them to pour. This altar is open. Come on, hallelujah. Ask God to increase your measure, increase your ability to pour. Hallelujah. There are so many empty vessels that need the oil that you carry. And for somehow, yes, God, speak Holy Ghost. And for some reason or another, you've been withholding the very thing that God is telling you to release. You've been frustrated. Even in the midst of your frustration, you've not released the oil of wisdom. Even in the midst of your, listen, and you say, God, the people not listening to me. The people don't even respect the oil on my life. They don't have nothing to do with my God. Listen, that still does not excuse you from pouring the oil. I believe that God has given each and every one of us a mandate today. that we have to pour into the empty vessels. There are so many people in the world that are hurting, that they don't listen. Come on. I, now, 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 now the prophet had the solution the entire time. You hold the solution that the people are in desperate need of. And so God is saying, come on, stop holding back the oil because I'm gonna use it for my glory. Stop holding back the oil. I have so many people that are broken. There are so many people that need to be repaired. There are so many people who have lost hope. Therefore, come on, hallelujah, you are always ready to give an answer for the hope that lies on the inside of you. People of God, I charge you this day to pour. Pour out the oil into the empty vessels so that you can bring God's name glory, amen? This altar is open. I want to pray with you. I want to touch and agree with you.
believe that this is a season where God is stretching you. That he is, hallelujah. That he will cause you to walk outside of your comfort zone. It's time to pour. It's time to pour. It's time to pour. Hallelujah. No longer can you look, my God. Yes, God. No longer can you look at the man and the woman on the side of the road and ignore, my God, ignore them. God is saying it's time to pour. It's time to pour. It's time to pour. Let God, my God, bring his name glory as you pour into the empty vessels. Your oil is big enough. Your oil is big enough. Your oil is big enough to save, to set free, and to deliver.
tiered fountain a three tiered fountain and the waters on this fountain it was very unusual the waters on this fountain was flowing contrary to the natural flow and I believe that God is saying to his people this day that he's going to hallelujah allow us to walk and move into unusual anointings 
unexpected. Listen, we're going to tap into and move in new dimensions. That we're going to tap and move. Listen, it's not going to be. Hallelujah. Listen, God can defy the odds. I hear that word in my spirit that I'm going to defy the odds for you. That I'm going to operate in such a way that it's going to be undeniable that it was by my power. Sometimes we are so honed in and expect for God to move in a certain way. But God told me to tell somebody. I believe it was Gideon. He said God calls the sundial to move in the opposite direction that it normally moves. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. How many know that, listen, God is not bound by time? How many know that God is not bound by systems? Come on. God is saying that, listen, there is an anointing that's going to hit this house. Hallelujah. That it's going to cause it to produce unusual, hallelujah, signs, miracles, signs and wonders. And God is, come on, hallelujah. And I can see in the spirit realm, go over there to Contagious Church. Go over there. They got the oil. God is raising up many other houses that are going to flow in unusual anointings. I'm talking glory to God. Limbs growing out. That's nothing for God. I'm talking, my God, bringing, bringing sight to the blind. That's, that's, not, that's not too hard for God. I'm talking people, my God, who are deaf and mute and dumb spirits. That's not too, my God, hard for God. Listen, you're getting ready to walk into an unusual season. You're getting ready to walk in, my God, an uncommon dimension with God. God said, tell my people that this next wave of the anointing will be likened in salmon. They've been swimming. They stay on one of the only species that swims upstream. Come on, hallelujah. Listen, God is going to cause you to, my God, to plow some unusual roads. Come on, you will plow and you will build in this season. And you, my God, there is nothing. Come on, and even new roads. God is going to cause you to build new roads. My God, in uncharted territories. And God is saying unto his people, I'm going to use you to bring my name glory. unusual uncommon let the rivers flow in whatever direction you see fit that we will give your name your due glory your due honor and your due praise we declare that it is so we declare that it is so we your people declare that it is so and shall not be otherwise in Jesus name hallelujah thank you all for joining us once again I want you guys to know that we're going to be very intentional about following the directives of the Lord even as it relates to ministry Wherever God is calling us to go, whatever God is calling us to do, we're going to be obedient to the calling and the instruction of God. And if you guys stand alongside this ministry and believe God, we're going to need your help as well. He's calling us to the highways, to the byways, because there are people out there who have yet to hear the truth about him. So I want you guys to be encouraged in knowing that these things are coming down the line. And we're going to require you guys' help. We're not going to beg anybody for anything. Because we're going to be obedient to what God is calling us to do. So prepare yourself to go out into community. As we serve those who, who need what we have. Also, if you're looking forward to joining this ministry, we'll probably set it up maybe the first week of December have a new members class for those of you that want to join the church say you know what I feel like this is where God has us and this is where God has me um, in this season or forever we don't know but if you feel like God has called you to Contagious Church Charlotte we would love to for you to connect with us at the first week of December we'll give you the details next week and uh, whether it be Zoom or whether it be face to face hopefully we can do face to face you know because I know things are a little <laughs> I don't, you never know. You never know with this whole COVID stuff, but Lord willing, we'll give you all the details next, uh, next time we meet together.
on Sunday. Anybody glad uh, about what took place today? Anybody excited? Anybody refreshed? Anybody empowered? Good. I want you to take that same energy and, and go out and be effective in this world. Amen? Also, before you leave, I want everybody to take a cup and, and drink some of this water that we have on the table. So we can... <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. We love you guys and we thank you guys. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, most gracious God, we thank you for another time that we got to spend with you, God. And even with these, your people, Lord, I pray, God, that we, we that what was said today resonated with our souls, God, that we will go out here into this world, God, and that we will be the light, God, that we will be hope and truth, Father. Everything that you have called us to be and everything that you've called us to do, God, let us obey your voice, let us obey your command, and let us obey your instruction, God, even as you give us guidance and, and understanding, God, as it relates to the plans that you have for your people, Father God, for you reveal them even by your spirit God so I pray that when we would depart this place God that we would never depart from your presence that we would never depart from your word Father God that we would stay as close as close as possible unto you for we believe that he who abides in you you will abide in them Father God so abide with these your people God cover them protect them shield them from all hurt all harm all danger even now in the name of Jesus God we just thank you we thank you for who you are and we thank you for what you're doing and we seal this prayer by saying now unto him who was able to keep us from stumbling and make us stand in the glory of his presence, blameless with great joy. Be glory, honor, dominion, power, majesty, might before time now and forevermore. It is in Jesus' name for God's glory and by the power of his spirit that we all say amen and amen. All right, whoever uh, doesn't say this the loudest, you're going to get a cup of water before you leave this place. Say, I will make the love the faith and the worship of God contagious it sounds like all oh, y'all drinking water today on, a, on count of three we are contagious all right you ready I want to hear I want to hear this place rumble well, I'm gonna drink the water <laughs> one two three we are contagious and you all be blessed have an amazing Sunday amazing week we love you